Dr. Celine Gounder with us. She's an NYU epidemiologist and a member of President-elect Biden's COVID advisory board. Doctor, thank you. This, scur this surge, obviously, on a new level. We heard what Dr. Fauci said. What's your word on what the federal government needs to do to help mitigate the crisis? Well, I think some of the changes in policy that you're going to be seeing with the new administration include around the messaging around masks and around testing. So there's been real discouragement of both under the current administration. Uh, unfortunately, mask wearing has been politicized, where this is really just a basic hygienic measure like using toilet paper. That should never have turned into a political symbol. As for testing, the current administration has actively discouraged people from getting tested, has said we're testing too much. And the fact is, coronavirus is sort of like an iceberg, where you have this small tip above the water that's visible, the people who are really sick, the people who are hospitalized, the people who die. But the vast majority of cases are that big part of the iceberg below water that's invisible, that is the ongoing transmission in the community. And the only way to reveal that is through testing. And that's the only way to control it, too, is to, to see it. Back before Thanksgiving, doctor, you said traveling over the holiday would be, and here's a quote, like pouring gasoline on a fire. Well, we traveled. Uh, now, now what do you see coming? Well, we fully expect that within about a week or two, we will see an increase in cases. So people starting to feel sick, getting sick with COVID. Uh, and then within about a week after that is when you would expect to see hospitalizations. And then another week or two after that is when you start to see deaths. So unfortunately, that means we may well be seeing people in the hospital, in, in ICUs, and possibly even dying around Christmas time and New Year's. Around the time of vaccines coming along, I mean, all fingers crossed, some have said, well, we may be so sick that it'll be an impediment to getting them distributed. And there are a lot of questions about whether the transition from one administration to the other, the one you're going to be advising, uh, whether that will cause problems. Are you anticipating problems or are you thinking smooth sailing? Well, I will say that since the election has been ascertained, since the transition team and advisory board have started to have conversations with the administration, that that has so far um, seemed to have been done with goodwill, with a real um, effort to make this process pretty smooth. Um, and so I think that's, that is very promising. Doctor, one more thing. It, as we all know, and as you've talked about, poor and minority communities have been hit so hard by this pandemic, like everything bad in life, it's the worst. How, how will the new administration ensure that the poor and minorities have fair access to this approved vaccine? Well, I think that starts with where you're distributing. What are the sites of distribution? So are these places where communities of color access care? How many access points are there in their community? So, for example, with testing, we've seen fewer testing sites in communities of color. The lines have been longer. The turnaround times have been longer. So really making sure we work with providers who care for those communities to make sure that they are able to provide access to the vaccine, too. Mm. Did you see Dr. Atlas resigned? I did. How do you feel about that? Uh, I am relieved uh, that in the future, people who are qualified, people who are infectious disease specialists and epidemiologists like me will be helping to lead this effort. You know, people who are expert in this, yeah. you wouldn't go to a podiatrist for a heart attack. And that was essentially what was happening. Mm. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.